CORS stands for Continuously Operating Reference Station and is a network of RTK base stations that broadcast corrections over an internet connection. RTK, or Real-Time Kinematic Positioning, enhances the precision of position data derived from satellite-based positioning systems. The reference stations gather global navigation satellite system data. This data is collected in 1 to 30 second intervals via an advanced receiver that utilizes satellites from GPS, the U.S. system, and GLONASS, the Russian system. The National Geodetic Survey manages cores across the United States and is responsible for analyzing the data received from the stations. In North Carolina, there are 83 cores that are operated by the North Carolina Geodetic Survey. There are several requirements for a core's site selection. The station must have a 360-degree, unobstructed view of the horizon, a clear view of the sky, and be clear of any nearby signal transmitters. In addition, the cores must be on a stable location. This could be a mount on a concrete or brick building, or placed in the ground through monumentation. The cores must also have an internet connection and collect data 24-7. GNSS data collected by the cores network can help engineers, scientists, surveyors, farmers, or anyone collecting GPS data by improving the precision of their positioning to within a few centimeters. Compared to GPS, the cores network results in much greater accuracy due to the fact that it gathers information from satellites and additional sites, thus greatly increasing its positioning precision. Uses for this accurate positioning range from meteorology, three-dimensional positioning, and geophysical applications. Data collected from cores can be used for calculating position in real time or can be examined after the fact in a method known as post-processing. Post-processing is for users who do not require corrected data in real time. Instead, users collect raw data in the field, go back to an office, download it, and then use software that corrects the data. Also, obtaining data for post-processing from the NGS Reference Data Shop does not cost any money. Aside from post-processing, users can calculate position in real time. This is easily described in a three-step process. First, the cores in the network send their data to the North Carolina Geodetic Survey computer servers, where it is received by the real-time network software within a second. Then, the real-time network calculates the error in the data for each second of time, correcting it for accuracy. Finally, this correction data is immediately sent to the user via the internet, allowing them to determine their position on the Earth within 1 to 2 centimeters in real time. In addition to determining their position, users can also record the exact location of points of interest and return to them at any time. As we will see later, this is useful for agriculture. A farmer can utilize a real-time network when placing seeds, keeping track of the position of each seed, and then using this information to fertilize the exact location where each seed is planted. Surveyors also get great use out of the real-time network when mapping and adjusting boundaries. Instead of having to take measurements in the field, send them back to an office, and wait for corrected data, RTN allows them to work in real time at a much higher level of efficiency. Precision agriculture is a farming management concept based on observing, measuring, and responding to field variability in crops. The goal of precision agriculture is to make farm production more efficient by reducing the misapplication of products into the field, thereby increasing crop efficiency. In other words, precision agriculture's goal is to waste less seed, less fertilizer, and less time spent by the farmer. There are three basic steps to precision agriculture, observation, evaluation, and creating a targeted management plan. In the first step, the farmer collects data on the field. This could be from a wide variety of factors, including soil type, elevation, nutrient levels, pH levels, pest infestations, yield rates, or other factors that affect production. Evaluating this data together can provide a better understanding of the causes of variability on the farm. After the evaluation, farmers can separate the farm into zones and base management decisions on the factors that affect each zone. By controlling each zone's inputs, farmers can maximize yield. While the zones vary in length, in a 20-acre field, it is typical to see zones from 
one to two acres in length. Precision agriculture differs from the traditional farming method or whole field management approach. In this method, the field is treated as a homogeneous area. Decisions are made based on field averages and inputs or nutrients are applied uniformly across the field, whether or not specific areas need the nutrient. Precision agriculture benefits the farmer in ways the whole field approach cannot. One advantage is that it reduces environmental risk by limiting the leaching of certain products. Another is that by matching practices more closely to crop needs, production increases. Finally, precision agriculture provides farmers with information to build up a record of their farm and improve their decision making. The rise of precision agriculture can be traced to the advent of certain technologies. The UAV, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, allows farmers to inspect and monitor the health of their crops throughout the season. UAVs can cover more areas at a faster rate than traditional human scouting. Also, UAVs can be used to monitor certain equipment, such as the nozzles and sprinklers on irrigation equipment. Apart from UAVs, another key technological advancement for precision agriculture has been GPS and GNSS. The farmer's ability to locate their precise position in a field allows for the creation of maps that show the variability of the farm. GPS is used by the UAV as well, because GPS on the UAV links data it is collected to its spatial position. So how does the CORS network support precision agriculture? If a farmer is trying to precisely place rows in a field so that they have uniform spacing for maximum production and efficiency, they need something as exact as a real-time network allows. If farmers have automatic steering systems and tractors that are coupled with a GNSS receiver that gets correction signals from the real-time network, they can systematically, routinely, and consistently place rows that are exactly parallel and uniformly spaced across the field. The positioning accuracy of the CORS network allows for the automatic steering tractors to have inch-to-inch -inch level precision. Other things that rely on the level of precision that the real-time network allows are placement of certain monitors and sensors, but guidance in the field remains the biggest application of the real-time network. As automatic steering becomes more cost-effective and widely used across the state of North Carolina, Farmers will need the accuracy that the real-time network allows.